If you are watching Netflix Money Heist and you're thinking that this is a show about robbery in the Bank of Spain, then you might be wrong. Hi, my name is Zubair Sohail and in today's video we will be discussing 5 corporate management lessons that corporations can learn from Netflix show Money Heist also known as The Casa de Papel. So for any of you who have seen the show Money Heist, you know that most of the premise of the show is all about planning. And most of the first half of the show, you can see that the main characters are focused on how to do, on how to execute a plan which would be highly successful and have minimal chances of being failed. And that is what corporations need to learn, that in order to be successful, you need to have a solid plan because without a solid plan, you might not be going anywhere. One of the main focus that the writers have given to on the show is having a diverse group of characters that come together to execute the plan. So this shows that having diversity in your corporation can be very, very important because when you have people coming from different backgrounds and have a different kind of mindset, when they come together, they can have a synergy which would allow you to execute the plan in the best possible way. One of the first shot in the show is that you see the professor going around and getting together people from different walks of life and from different backgrounds, but who are the expert at what they do. So this brings me to my point that you need to have a people, a good team that would have expert of one of their areas. So when they come together, they can collaborate and create synergies. The main other focus of the show is although all of these characters have good experience in their own areas, but they do come with their own sets of weaknesses and strengths. And that is the other point that we need to be careful, that we need to identify our weaknesses and our strengths so that we know what kind of team player we are working with and whether they need to have their strengths or whatever their weaknesses are so that can be overcome by the other members of the team. One major theme that revolves around the show is that most of these characters, because having an expertise in their own area, have quite big egos. And that is one thing that the main character, which is the professor, always make, keeps making sure that the egos are kept in check. And the same can be applied to the corporate world where you have all of these leaders who are VPs and CEOs. But the problem is the ego. If the egos are not kept in check, it can lead to a disaster in the corporations because guess what? Having a big ego would not get you anywhere. One final thing that the show has focused on is contingency planning. That regardless of how solid your plan can be, there are always chances that this plan is going to fail. So that is why they always have a backup plan. And this is something that corporations need to focus on. That no matter where you start from and what your plan is, you always need to have a backup plan in case the first one doesn't work. So then you can always go back to the second one and try on that. So guys, those were my five tips for corporate management from the show Money Heist of Netflix. And if you like that, you're going to like my other video, which talks about how you can get into your passion and make the most out of it. And thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys in the next one.